Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how I make these acrylic mists that, that you can use at home. Um, the real acrylic mist can be kind of expensive and uh, an ink mist can be expensive as well. So I'm going to use that journal, um, which I actually ended up not using that journal actually to test out my sprays. I used a, a sheet from a scrapbook. So um, yeah, anyways, let's get on. So I use warm water. Um, as well as these five tubes that I got from Walmart. You can also get them from the dollar store. Um, I was going to use that stick to stir them, but I ended up think, uh, finding out that just shaking them works fine. Here I just took off the, um, the sticker off my spray bottles. And if you have any residue, like stickiness, or this had a, um, had, an, had something printed underneath of it, like, it was like a plastic print underneath of it. You just use some rubbing alcohol and rub it all over the bottle and it will clean off any of the stickiness as well as the ink that was uh, printed on the bottle. So that's what I'm doing here and I'm just cleaning it off. Um, next is I'm going to take the craft paint. I took gold and I'm going to pour it in. Um, I would recommend if you do not have brand new paints to filter out your paint because some paints Oh, excuse me, I got a text message. I don't ever get text messages, which is very strange. Um, but anyways, I would filter out your paint. Uh, I ended up filtering out mine when it was finished because uh, I ended up clogging a couple of them. Uh, and I realized that I probably should have clog uh, filtered them out so I didn't get any loose debris in there, I guess, or any clogging. Especially that dicky like booger substance that can be caused in uh, older paints uh what i used was a uh, i used a tissue but you can use anything you would like coffee filter whatever would work for you uh here i put in warm water into my paint i used a two to one ratio um two parts water one part paint and uh this is me trying to stir it with a stick that lasted about five seconds until I just wanted to shake the bottle. So here I am just shaking up the bottle. Um, and then I'm going to get out my sketchbook and just test out my spray and see how it works and see if I need to add more water or paint and see. This is how it works, and I think it worked out perfectly. I think it, uh, I love the gold. I loved how that turned out. Um, so the gold is now done. So put the gold down. Um, next what I'm going to do is purple. So, uh, the purple one itself was a little bit more thick than I wanted to. So you'll see me throughout the video, um, apply more water to it to thin it out to the, uh, consistency that I would like. Um, and this one's the one that ended up clogging up because I did not filter it out and I couldn't unclog the spray bottle so I'm going to have to get a new one sometime soon probably when I go out today I will get one um, but the other one I did get unclogged and start working that one just fine um, and so I used some alcohol uh, oh no, I was showing the alcohol because I didn't know if I was going to end up using it to make one of the sprays and see how well that turned out. But I ended up not doing that in this video. I might put that in another video, but I'm not sure yet. So, um, so I put in that and also, uh, with the, the big acrylics, the thicker acrylic, the real thick paint, acrylic paint, you will have to add a lot more water because craft paint is already a liquid down cheap paint. So obviously, with thicker paint, you're going to add more water. Um, so here's my testing of the purple. Uh, the purple was really thick when I first did it, and I added water, and I still added water later down to thin it out a bit. Um, but it, I think it, I think I put way too much paint in this container for me to thin it out as much as I would like to. So next time I'm going to make it, I would make it um, do a little bit at a time. I wouldn't go to fill the entire bottle all at once. Um, I thought it, the spray pattern that was just amazing with the purple though. So I don't know if it's the bottle or the paint I used, but I thought it was really cool. Uh, the next one I'm going to do, I think was the blue. I think I'm doing the blue next. Um, 
Nope, I'm going to do the green. I lied. So I'm going to do the green next. Uh, the green, I ended up uh, putting two different types of green in the bottle. I used a darker green and a lighter green because I didn't really have that mid-tone green that I wanted to use in the bottle. So, uh, yep. Here I am adding the dark green first. Uh, well, it's more of a mid-tone green, but, uh, and then I'm going to add the lighter green. It's more like a neon green over top of that, and I put a lot more of this light green than I did the other green into the bottle. Um, you can almost mix any color you want to make into the spray. It doesn't have to fully come out of one type of paint bottle. Um, Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I added the water and then I'm going to shake it up. Uh, the green itself also was kind of thick, but it wasn't as thick as the purple. So I ended up diluting that a lot better. So, uh, So right now I'm going to add more water to my green to dilute it uh, to the consistency that I like. Um, and that's pretty much it for the whole entire video. They all are about the same. Just continue adding water to your paint to when it comes out uh, the way you would like it to come out. Don't spray it when you only have paint in it. It's the only thing I have to say. Do not spray it when you have only paint in there. Make sure you have it thinned out. Um, because if you don't, it will clog it up right away and you won't be able to fix it. I mean, if you can, great. But I wouldn't try it. Um, the next one I'm doing is the silver. I think the silver one's my favorite. Uh, the silver and the gold, anyways. Because of the shimmer effect that it does. You can't really see too much silver in it, but it gives everything a beautiful shimmer. Which I was in totally in love with. I even tried adding more of the silver paint to um, the water to see if I had it too diluted. It wasn't. It was just not a opaque silver. It wasn't going to come out. It was more of a shimmer, which I was completely fine with. It was so pretty. I pretty much sprayed it on my entire project that I just did after I videoed this. And um, also, the next thing you can do with the colors, if you sprayed it on and it's too thick where you sprayed it and you didn't want it, you can also take a regular spray bottle with just water in it and spray that area again and it will become a lot more liquefied. So the last color I'm doing is this pretty blue. It was so vibrant. I ended up really liking the blue contrast to the green and the purples. Um, so I did the same thing. Added water to the thing, to the paint, to the bottle, uh, and mixed it up and sprayed. I don't think, I think I, you know, diluted it beautifully the first time. I was so proud. Uh, it came out awesome. And it also has this weird effect that the, the gold does underneath of all the paints where it kind of spots everything. Um, but I think it's gorgeous. Uh, so, and that is basically it. That's how you do all the paints, um, uh, and you get your spray mists. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back and see more of my stuff. Alright, bye!